Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Six Shine, Six Shot Gaming Channel, and I am back with another what to do on block Vivi. This time, this what to do on block is gonna be Freezer's older brother, the last DLC character, Cooler. So, Cooler, what to do on block is going to be pretty unique because normally some stuff that works with other characters, when it comes with true block strings and so on and so forth, necessarily don't work like that with Cooler. So. He's more unique when it comes to block strings and so on and so forth. But anyways, like always people, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out some of the past content. Make sure to hit the notification bell to get alerted. Ever since I'm going to drop a new vid for y'all. Also, if you're looking for ways to help support my channel, you can check the description box below and find all the ways you could do so. So the first thing we're going to go over is some of the problems Coolers have with some of his normals. Especially with his auto combo. Especially if you're going to compare it to other auto combos and so on. So, a character like Cooler is very different from a character like Goku. As you're going to see, I have the, the, um, I have the computer as a guard first only. So, as you can see, this is all true block strings since the computer blocked every single hit. And, of course, you could delay and stagger pressure so they can get hit with it. But with Cooler, the second and third hit of his auto combo... There is gaps in those two hits. So the second hit and the third hit, there's a gap in between. So if your opponent press the buttons or anything like that, they will get hit. So since there is a gap in between these hits, even though it's a very small gap, but it still is a gap. If you're, you're pressing buttons or your opponent press the buttons during the auto combos, you can get hit. So you have to be very, very careful about this. But since there is a gap, that means you can also do stuff to beat out gaps. Like a reflect. So you can reflect the second hit of the auto combo, but you gotta be careful because the third hit of the auto combo kind of chases you down. So you have to, you can't really retaliate after that. You have to just straight reflect both the second and third hit to punish, just like so. Another thing is, is that if you reflect, I mean, if you try to reflect crouching, it's a little bit hard to reflect if you got stand up to reflect, but it can be done. So. I know some people might be trying to reflect this as a crouch guard, and it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it definitely can be done. Even though there is gaps in between the auto combos, the second and third hit, the gap is not large enough for you to get advantage. These gaps are about like at least one frame gap, so you need more than one frame to um, perform the advantage, so you cannot advantage in between the gaps. But you can do invincible starter moves like a DP, which Cooler has. Or you could do uh, another defensible startup move, like any type of super with invincibility on a startup, like a level 3 super. Cooler has a counter super that does that. Or you could do any other character, like a Goku who has a defensible startup level 3, will beat out the gap in between as well. You could do this between the first gap, the first the gap in, in between the first and second string, and, a, and the second and third string. Another thing about this auto combo is if your opponent do block the auto combo, the auto combo is 100% safe. So keep that in mind. So we're going to talk about another weird thing with Cooler. Normally when you do light, light, down, medium, standing, medium, for almost every other character, I say true block strength. But with Cooler, it's completely different. So there's a gap in between when you go into a down, when you go from any light attack into a down medium. Now, it's very hard to reflect because off of this gap because it's hard to reflect off a of crouch guard into a standing guard, but you definitely can. So, I'm going to set the computer to show that I go to guard first only, and then I'm going to make the computer reflect on the first available frame that it can reflect when there, whenever there's a gap, as you can see. And when I do the light, light, down, medium, the computer automatically reflects the down, medium. So as you see, that this move is not a true block string at all. So any other character, light, light, down, medium, standing, medium, will be a true block string. But with Cooler, this is not the case. So you got to kind of change up your combos or block strings because of this. So like I said, any light attack going into a down, medium has a gap. So you can definitely beat it out the way you could beat gaps any other time. But a invincible startup move like a DP or a invincible startup move like a super, like a level three. And it will definitely be it out if you do it perfectly, just like so. And yeah, these are 
beat out Cooler's gaps in between his down, um, lights into his down medium. The one thing is, also, there is a small frame to the gap, so you cannot vanish at all until after. So, another thing we're going to talk about is his standing heavy and with a block string. So, any block string at all into a standing heavy, there is a gap, and you can reflect it just like so. And you can punish it because after the same heavy, he's in a whole bunch of recovery. So you could definitely punish it very, very easily. But the theme seems here with Cooler is that you cannot vanish out these gaps at all. Like all the other gaps with Cooler, you cannot vanish out of this. But you could definitely do an invincible starter move like a DP or a level 3 super to beat out the gap. So that's another normal move he has that has a gap. So yeah so now let's talk about block true block strings with cooler so standing light to down light standing medium down medium is a true block string and then the reverse as well down light into standing light standing medium into down medium is a true block string as well so keep that in mind so another move you can add into your true block strings is down heavy down heavy will cont continue to keep your block string true the only thing is that the move is unsafe, so you have to have an assist or a special move that you have to cancel to to keep it safe. So another move we're gonna talk about that we're gonna incorporate into our true block strings is the standing key blast attack. So a standing key blast attack is very, very, very good. That when you it also keeps your opponent into a true block string, and your opponent cannot press buttons at all. Or they cannot reflect or do anything. They ha they're stuck in a true block string when you use a standard key blast at the end of a true block string already. So it's very good to end your true block string with a key standard key blast because it still keeps on a true block string. Normally you can reflect key blasts, but you can't reflect cooler standard key blasts. And also, this block string causes tons of pushback. As you can see, any type of button press your opponent will do after, maybe not the standard medium attacks. Or down medium attacks, but anything else will whip. And you cannot super dash through the key blast as well. So this is very, 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 very good for cooler. So another move we're gonna talk about to incorporate into your block strings to keep it a true block string is cooler forward heavy attack. So cooler has a command normal forward heavy, and this move is a low, and it kind of functions just like Cell's command on um, forward heavy. And it keeps your opponents a true block string. And if they press the buttons, they will get hit. Also, if they try to reflect, they will get hit as well. So, and when they block the move, this move is 100% safe. And as you can see, you cannot vanish. You cannot do no supers or nothing at all because you're in a true block string. So any button pressure your opponent presses while the forward heavy attack is coming out, they will get hit. And if you're on point, you can start off a combo from there. So just keep that in mind, his four heavy has to be used in his block strings. So something with the four heavy that the four heavy has a lot of hit stun. So you can easily hit confirm into like a down heavy into a combo. As you can see, like you have a lot of time to confirm that the four heavy hits and then you can press down heavy. But this is not the case with the standing heavy. Standing heavy you cannot really hit confirm into. You have to like automatically like just dial in. Um, forward heavy into stand heavy but for heavy into down heavy you can hit confirm and even so the down heavy will still keep it to a true block string but you gotta remember that the down heavy is a really 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 unsinked as you can see so you have to cancel it into like a assist or one of the special moves that are safe pretty that's not a good example because that's unsafe but yeah you get the point so another move we're gonna talk about is you can incorporate into cooler block strings and of course with the back and key back button move. And I don't remember the name, so I'm just gonna call it the Earth Shaker. So when you do a cooler Earth Shaker move, this move is a hundred percent safe on block. As you can see, you cannot punish this move at all, and it causes tons of pushback as well. You see how far I am from the opponent after you do this block string. So yeah. And there is a gap in between this the block string and this move so if your opponent presses buttons they will get hit 
and you can easily confirm into a vanish combo if it hits, just like so. And even if the opponent blocks the vanish, you're plus frame, so you can continue pressure on, just like with any other character at the uh, plus frame vanish. So, one thing about this move is that this move is a low. So, you have to low block this move. If you stand block, you will get hit by it. So, you always have to low block this move or crouch guard this move. This is a low. So, also, another thing about this move is that since there is a gap in between, you can easily reflect and punish just like so. Just gotta remember there is there is some distance in between your opponent, so you have to do the proper punish accordingly. And you can also vanish in between it since there is a gap. And you can do moves like a invincible startup move like a DP or a invincible startup move like a level three super. If I could do it right. There you go. Yeah, you can do eventually start moves like a level 3 super. Sorry for the mess up the first time. Yeah. So this move is really good when you put it together with your same key blast. Because they're going to be looking to reflect this move. So you could condition your opponent to reflect the Earth Shaker. You could just do the standing key blast and bait out the reflect and punish accordingly just like so. So that's a good tactic to use with this move. Also, since this move, if the move is blocked, you do recover fairly quickly. So you could do back dashing in again, just like so. The only thing is if your opponent has like a long reaching, like down medium, or um, standing medium, or even standing heavy, it will hit the opponent out the back dash, or you out the back dash. So you gotta be careful about that. So the next special move we're gonna talk about that we're incorporating a block is coolers. Quarter circle forward and the key blast button or the death wave, which is I'm gonna call it. I can't remember what's the name of the attack, but anyway. This move is 100 percent safe on block and it causes tons of pushback. As you see, I try to retaliate with the standing medium. And cool has a very long reach of standing medium and completely whips. That's how much pushback this move has. And this move does have a gap, so if you're pressing buttons while this move is going on, you will get hit and you can go into vanish combos and so on and so forth. And since there is a gap in between, and the gap is pretty huge, because this move start but kind of reminds you like Yamcha's Kamehameha, so you can easily vanish with no problem. Also, the startup is so huge that you can even jump chicken or chicken block this move as well. You can, but since there is a gap, if you have a move that has a visible install like a DP or a level 3 super, which Cooler has both. You can easily beat out the move. So keep that in mind when doing this move in your block strings and so on and so forth. So, one good thing about this move, if you're using this move, if your opponent tries to reflect, even though there is a gap, you cannot punish this move at all after the reflect. At all. At all. <laughs> Even in the corner, if you're a fuck in the corner and retaliate with your light attacks, you cannot punish at all. With all characters. So that's very, very, very good. So the next question we're going to talk about that you can incorporate into Cooler Block Strings is the Dive Kick Attack. And Cooler Dive Kick Attack is okay to use in a Block Strings. Um, there's a gap in between, so if your opponent's press the buttons, they will get hit. And this move is a overhead. So you have to stand block this move. So if you don't stand block this move, you will get hit. So you have to stand block this move to um, block it. Another thing about this move is that it's 100% safe on block. So if you will block, if this move is actually blocked, you go 100% safe. It's 100% safe, and this is with all characters. So that's good. Now the one downfall to this move is that. It is airborne while you do the move, so it's a hundred percent punishable by a uh, down heavy, as you, as you can see. And since there is a gap, you can easily reflect it as well. And you're pretty much stuck in recovery during the reflect. So if you have a opponent with a good long reach and normal, you can punish it just like so. So keep that in mind. 
it can also, since there is a gap, be vanished, and you have plenty of time to vanish out of the way to move. And you could do a invincible start move like a DP or a level 3 super, just like so. And you punish. So you gotta be very, very careful about that when using this move. So moving on to the medium version of the move. The medium version of the move is pretty much the same thing. It just has longer startup. But and also if it hits, it causes a slot and knockdown, unlike the light version. It, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's 100% 100% safe on block, and it has it has weaknesses, almost all the same weaknesses. It's airborne, so you can easily down heavy it. The only thing about this move is that if your opponent immediately reflects while you do the medium version, on um, the they reflect with whiff, and then you will hit with the medium version. So yeah. That's the one good thing about it. And moving on to the hands version. Hands version has the speed of the medium version. I mean the light version. So it's pretty much the same as that. It can get punished the same exact way as the light version as well. So nothing much to really go on off of that. So to avoid being punished with the gap, you go always incorporate a well time assist. And the, the proper timing of the assist call, dependent on the assist, will be the same exact time you press your forward heavy or any move, any type of attack you would do before the actual dive. So you want to do whatever attack you do, the, the assist at the same time, and then the dive. And you will keep them into a true block string, and is they will not be able to punish it at all. So... Moving on, the next move we're going to be talking about is the DP in the block string. So, the DP in the block string is really not the greatest thing to use at all. But the only thing is, this is the only special move he has that will keep your opponent in a true block string. But, as you can see, you try to reflect, try to press buttons in between, nothing will happen. But, the only bad thing about this move is that you cannot, like do nothing after the DP you can easily get punished and if your opponent if you're not on point with the punishment you could drop the combo but you could easily wait until they touch the floor and punish them just like so for a full combo punish so this is not really a really good move to use in your block turn so keep that in mind but you can make it safe if you use a well time assist and the timing of the assist it's going to be like you do the DP and immediately do the assist. And when that happens, you keep them in a true block string so you're able to land safely and be still be able to block. So another thing I like to add is whenever you use the medium version of the DP, it's never going to be a true block string. But the light and enhanced version will be true block strings, but the medium version will never make your block string true. So even though I don't recommend using this anyways in your block stream, just in case you happen to do use it, it's good to know. So moving on, let's talk about Cooler and his mix-ups. Even though he doesn't really have that many great mix-ups because he doesn't have a low end to help. But he still has some stuff he could do with everybody old, trusty, favorite lockdown assist. And that is Kid Boo. And when you use Kid Boo or any type of lockdown assist with the proper timing... And it's super dash, you get some really, really good setups. And I'm gonna show you a couple setups. All right. So the first setup we have is you do this block string into a double overhead with his lights, and that's pretty good. The only thing about that is if your opponent is crouched on blocking, you will completely whiff when you do an air dash. So that's pretty bad. So the way to get around this is that you have to delay your air dash after the super dash as low as possible and then do it and you're only going to get one light out instead of a double overhead. But it's still it's still a good technique. So the next block string we're going to talk about is after the air dash going into the medium attack. And this is very, very good as well because if they cross blocking, you just got to be careful. You're going to whiff them as well. But this one is pretty better because if you have the proper timing, you can easily cross up just like so. You just have to have the proper timing. You have to um, air dash over and then delay the medium and then hit. And then you can easily run in and full combo punish from there. So, yeah, that's good as well. Another good mix-up is that you don't even have to air dash 
to hit with his um, jump medium attack. His jump medium attack has a very, very huge hitbox. So from wherever you bounce back at, or for the pushback of the super dash, you can do jump medium and it will hit your opponent. The only thing about this is that since you are a really, really good distance, it's kind of hard to confirm into that hit, as you can see, that if you try to just start pressing buttons from there. You can easily, if you probably mash out the medium attacks, so you do jump medium, standing medium, down medium, it's going to come out, you can hit, especially in the corner. But sometimes, if you're too slow, you will whiff. So, you got to keep that in mind. So, But if you mash it out, you can hit. But if you want to, like, really, really be sure, you just got to do a mini micro dash after the jumping medium hit, and you can combo from there. So, just keep that in mind. So even though Cooler doesn't have a low hit into L or down light, he still has a hollow mix-up. It's just slower. But you can do this setup just like so. Empty air dash into a down medium. And you could probably catch your opponent off guard here and there. And it's okay to use. You can even do this setup with his forward heavy as well. His forward heavy is a little bit quicker, I believe. The only thing is that you don't get the damage with the combo you can get with a down medium so keep that in mind but you can also get a true block strength setup if you just not air dash at all and it drops to the floor and do a down medium and that's all a true block strength so that's probably the best setup out of the three so keep that in mind and just remember when you do the air dash setups the air dash setups can be reflected so the, the, air, the empty air dash setups into the low, so the down medium, or to the forward heavy can be reflected, so keep that in mind. But if you know your opponent is going to reflect this, you can easily bait it out with the empty, uh, empty air dash into a dragon rush to bait out the reflect. Or you can just bait out the reflect and then attack from there. So yeah. So the last time I want to go over with Cooler is that his air level 3 is a command grab. A true command grab, and it's an air grab as well, and it will catch standing opponents if you're close down to the ground. So this is pretty good. Only thing is that if your opponent is crouching, it will completely whiff, as you can see. But what makes this pretty good is when you incorporate it into your like setup. Which I gave y'all to do with cooler. You can when your opponent goes to stand block something, you can easily just cancel into a, a command grab that does close to five thousand worth of damage for free, basically, if you make the right read. Now this is very, very good because you cannot attack through it. If you're not on point with back dashing. You can't back dash either. You could back dash it, but if you're not on point, you can't back dash. Um, you also can't jump either. You could jump it, but it's pretty hard to like get the time of it. But if you jump too early, you get caught. It's like you have to jump really, really late, and I did it before when I was catching the footage, but I couldn't get it in this. In this so I just like I just said forget it. Um, another thing is that, like I said, the back dash is very, very hard, but you definitely can't do it. Um, let me see if I can get a me doing it. Yeah, still trying to do it, not getting it, but you can definitely do it. You have to be very, very precise with your back dash. Like right here, I'm able to back dash. So as you can see, um, you could also let's see what's the next club that's coming. Up. Yeah, I, I was trying to do like an invincible star move. You can do your DP. The DP does come. Um, I don't know what happened right there, but you can definitely do a DP. Right there, you can do a DP as you saw. But you gotta be on point with the DP. If you like wait and react, you're not gonna be able. The DP is not gonna come out. Same thing with vanish. If you if you're like automatically vanish, like you if you anticipate in the setup, you can vanish automatically out the way. But if you wait. And then see him re and see him do the super, and then try to vanish. They're not gonna be able to vanish. And you will also do um, a level three super right here. I tried to show the example with Kid Boo, but it's very very hard to show it because he's short. So I was just going right over, and I ain't noticed that until after I got this footage. So yeah. And, but just an example, even though this doesn't connect at all, but as you can see, any level three super 
you could um it will beat out the air grab coolers level three super so yeah but yeah folks that's pretty much the end of the road for this video what to do on block cooler hopefully you was able to enjoy the video and learn something new if you was able to learn something new please smash the like button i greatly appreciate it this is the last dlc character and i only have one more character left for the what to do a block and that is majin buu i supposed to then do majin buu majin buu was supposed to come out in between these two dlc characters but i didn't do so but yeah he will be coming now i'm gonna try to get that as soon as possible i know i keep saying that about the crafts but i be procrastinating sorry for that but anyways if you're new to the channel please subscribe check us on the past content make sure if you enjoyed what you just saw make sure you drop a like and also if you new make sure you hit the notification bell to get alerted every time i drop a new vid for y'all and if you also looking to help support my channel any type of way check the description box below to go check to see how you do so but anyways have a nice day peace